Hello internet, internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. This is Laser Cat from Monster Jail. This game was recently featured as part of the Indie Royale Graduation Bundle. If you didn't pick it up during the bundle, you can purchase it right now on Desura for a mere $2. There's also a free demo on the PC, and you Xbox guys can pick it up on Xbox Live Indie Games for some amount of Microsoft points. So what is LaserCat? Well, it's a light 2D platformer. It's not serious, it's not really a puzzle platformer, it's just sort of a light and fun 2D platformer. Really enjoy it so far. I've played a total of five minutes, but I've already sort of fallen in love with the game. Uh, but there's not a whole lot to it. I think you can get through it in a couple of hours. Uh, but it really is an interesting game, and, and it's the kind of game that I really like to see out there. Uh, Monster Jail is just one guy. I believe it's uh, Daniel McFarlane, and uh, you know he just does this in his spare time, and uh, I really, really enjoy it. I mean, it's an interesting game, has a cool laid-back vibe, and uh, listen to that music, huh? Oh yeah, right? That is from Mr. Kevin McLeod. If you're not familiar with Kevin's work, he is a philanthropist of sorts. He actually creates music and gives it away to folks for free to be used in machinimas and YouTube videos in, in, in a royalty-free fashion. So I really enjoy Kevin's work. Uh, I think it's a great thing that he does over on his website. And actually, if you remember way back when, I used to have an outro on my videos and I used Kevin's music in my outro. So kind of full circle here coming back to Kevin. So Laser Cat, there is really nothing more to do but to play it. So let's go ahead and get into it. There is a story to Laser Cat, so uh, let's check it out. In the not too distant future, at the edge of the solar system, in a tiny cottage on a tiny planetoid, lived Laser Cat and Owl. In the garden, they grew space onions and astro carrots, which they made into delicious soup for all of their friends to share. One day after coming home from the market, Laser Cat couldn't find Owl anywhere. Not in the kitchen, the living room, the vestibule, or even in the disco dungeon. There was a note in the scullery. I, Wizard, the magic space frog, have taken your precious Owl friend to my magic space castle. The ransom for his her release is one million British pounds sterling. You have until tea time to pay up. Wizard, the magic space frog. Oh no, exclaimed Laser Cat. I don't have a million British pounds sterling. Looks like I'll have to save Owl myself. And with that, the story of Laser Cat begins. Professional voice acting from an amateur there, guys. Thanks for sitting through that. Uh, so this is Laser Cat. I really have literally played about five minutes of this game, so I don't know too much about it. So we'll just kind of roll through it uh, as a first impression, and it really is a first impression. So, uh, okay, this television is uh, checkpoints. Checkpoint. Remember to store keys at checkpoints. We will try to do that. Sign here. Okay, use A to jump. Fall through platforms using B. Okay. Fair enough. So here we go. Welcome to Wizard's Castle. Entrance five British pounds sterling. This guy's obsessed with British pounds sterling. All right. Definitely not a fan of the euro, I suppose. So moving through here, we're definitely seeing this graphic style. It is uh, it is unique to an extent because it probably is going to uh, drum up images of Terry Cavanaugh's V uh, for those of you who have played that or V V V V V V if you prefer. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, it is definitely reminiscent of that style. Uh, but uh, you know, we'll cut him some slack because it's a great style and it's something that is lo-fi and easy to use uh, in a position in a in a game like this that is positioned as a simple casual game that's made in someone's spare time so cut the guy some slack okay use gusts to move through the air okay I'm assuming these are gusts all right let's gust there we go oh, another sign helpful signs checkpoints to store keys okay kind of already knew that but whatever moving on uh, okay are those bees or are those toasters who are flapping their freshly browned toast can't really tell all right, I'm just going to avoid the whole B thing and just go this way. All right, another checkpoint. It's snowing out here. Okay, it's, I guess this is his 
castle's exterior. Up, up, up. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh, okay, there we go. Jumping. Go home, laser cat. <laughs> Never! What are these things? Good lord. Ah, ooh, that was close. Okay, got ourselves another checkpoint. Cool, whoa. Cool. So the controls are really tight. I like the way that they move. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this bouncing that the laser cat <laughs> does and that annoying little beep, beep, beep every time he walks, but uh, the uh, the jumping controls are really tight. You have a, a, certain, uh, a certain amount of air control and uh, you do have full control over your jump, so you can do a full-on jump or a small jump. I uh, really like that in platformers when they do that. Uh, whoa, oh goodness, okay, that was close, I suppose. All right, so we gotta learn how to use these little guys here. Oh, okay, so I guess the deeper you are, the further you fly. We have a key, all right. Wait, welcome to the Riddle Realm. What is considered to be the most dangerous large animal in Africa? Hmm. Okay, well, at least it's not that hard. We know it's not a polar bear, and I don't think it's a giraffe. Hippo, hippopotamus. All right, so we have a key. Whoa, I don't want to... No, I'm falling. Please, laser cat, save yourself. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh nice, nice, nice. Saving, so we've stored our key at the checkpoint. Brush your teeth every day. Uh, okay. What is that, a little ghost cat? What is that? Oh, wait, I forgot to brush my gums. I'll never get another chance. Oh, I'm sorry, ghost cat. Sorry about that, little guy. Uh, the graphics are running in 800 by 600, so it's uh, a little bit of a stretch to see a lot of this stuff. You can go full screen, kind of stretch it out, uh, but for this uh, particular gameplay, I'm just keeping it in its uh, windowed mode. Hey, another key. If you die while holding a key, you lose it. Okay, checkpoints. Oh, this was probably supposed to be the gimme key for the tutorial. All right, you want a key? I have a question for you. In what year did the Battle of Hastings take place? Uh, well, probably not C, because that's totally in the future, and I'm guessing not A? Because I don't remember that from history class. Even though I did go to a public school in North Carolina, I'm going to guess B. All right, it would appear I was correct. Okay, I like that. The, uh, the rooms change color... Every time you, oh, okay, every time you go into a room, it changes color. I like that. That's a nice little visual, uh, a nice little visual randomization there. Just kind of breaks things up. I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, no, no. Okay, good. So it's just, I just can't jump too high. All right, I see. There we go. Laser cat. Lovely. So yeah, this game plays really well. It controls nicely. I've heard it's only about a couple or three hours of gameplay total, so I'm not going to show you too much of the game for fear of spoiling things. Uh, but it is really playing nice. I, I like it. I like uh, a lot of a lot of the things about it. Whoa, Metroids. Uh, I like the way that uh, I like the way that everything controls. Uh, I do hate uh, now officially hate the way that this laser cat moves, bouncing on his front paws there. Uh, it's cute, but it's also annoying as hell. So, oh, another television. Okay. Oh my god, it's a conveyor belt. Okay, conveyor belts. Don't like them. Oh, take that. I've mastered your conveyor belt. Oh, lord. Okay. Oh. There we go. There we go. All right. Okay, I recognize this. Is I fell past this stuff before. Okay. So here we go. Ooh, ooh, doo -doo -doo. I don't know what happens when you die, but I just almost found out. So I'm kind of getting confused a bit about this uh, whole setup, man. I don't know where I am. I keep getting checkpoints. I guess I can warp. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. I can warp between checkpoints. And we've got the... Okay. So green outline is a checkpoint, red is Owl's Cell, I guess we haven't found Owl's Cell yet, 9.33% uh, of the map uncovered, All right, well let's just go back, so uh, is there any other way to access, start, pause map, oh there we go, okay, so there's the map, oh, okay, alright, well that's cool, I'll resume. 
So yeah, this game is uh, it's cute as hell. You know, it's not complex. It's not uh, it's not a puzzle platform by by any means. It, it is a nice light platformer. I mean, it is exactly what it was described to me as uh, when reading reviews and stuff of it. It, it really is uh, it really is kind of kind of grabbing me. You know, it's it's not uh, whoa beholders or uh, Keiko Dean. Whoa, right. And I died. Okay, well, I guess you just respawn at the point, all right? Cool. I wonder what happened if I fell down here. I don't want to take that chance. So let's not. Are these birthday cakes? I think they are. Evil birthday cakes. All right, laser cat. Let's do us some platforming. Run. Bringing back Nightmares of Doom 2. Late night Doom 2 sessions right here. Alright, store keys at checkpoints. You told me that many, many times. Alright, well, yeah, guys, I think this is pretty much all you need to see. I mean, this is Laser Cat, right? I mean, <laughs> it is a, a a nice casual platformer. Really, really, uh, really like the aesthetic. Really like uh, pretty much everything about this game. Uh, it is, uh, again... Probably not as long as, as one might like, but for just a couple of bucks, I mean, I can't really complain that much about uh, about the length. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, getting a little bit harder, this little casual platform. Oh, another ghost. Be sure to look and listen both ways before crossing the road. Oh, thank you for that t helpful, helpful tip. So yeah, let's go ahead and call it, guys. This is LaserCat. It is available on Desura. You may have already picked it up in the Indie Royale graduation bundle, which was in early June, if you are like me and pretty much buy every Indie Royale that comes out. So uh, check your codes, check your uh, collection on IndieRoyale.com. But uh, other than that, it's definitely worth taking a look at if you want to pick up the demo for absolutely free. You can definitely head over to their website. Everything should, everything should, everything should be linked in the description below. Uh, I'm about to have a heart attack here. And uh, hopefully you guys will check out Laser Cat. I have enjo enjoyed my time with it despite frequent deaths. Okay, so uh, yeah, enjoy Laser Cat, folks. I have been Big Dave, and as always, take it easy. <laughs>